Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate power line communication, the communication over the power line. I am going to use high frequency signal at 45 kilohertz on 110 volt to 220 volt AC mains line. So as you can see here, this is my setup. This is my setup in one side and this is my setup in the second side. As you can see here, my voltage now is 13.92 volts AC. As you can see here, my voltage is 13.9 volts AC and I am not having the mains line connected yet. So I am having basically one oscillator. This oscillator is oscillating at a frequency of 45 kilohertz. I am having this power device and the transformer, the power, the 45 kilohertz signal is pushed into the transformer. It is traveling on the transmission line. You can see these are the, these wires are the trans, this is the transmission line. This is another, these three wires are for the transmission. So it is traveling along the transmission line and it is, it is received at the receiver end. So this is the receiver end. Here we have another transformer and from here we are separating the power and the signal waveforms. So here we can see on the power waveform currently we can see a voltage of 13.76 volts AC. This is because you can see 13.76 volts AC. This is because there is an oscillation on the mains line on the mains line due to a 45 kilohertz signal presence. This is a normal signal I am testing without activating the power line. I can see here the frequency is 50 kilohertz. As you can see the frequency is 50 kilohertz. 7.5, 7.4 is the AC duty cycle. So as you can see here, it is a 13 volts AC signal. Now I am going to show you the basic diagram first, then I will activate the mains line. So so the circuit has basically two parts. This is the first transmitter part and here is the receiver part. So on the transmitter part we have an oscillator, we have a power device, we have a transformer. So what the oscillator is doing, oscillator is oscillating at a frequency of 45 kilohertz. So this is the transmitter section. You can see this is the transmitter part. So here is the oscillator. So this oscillator is oscillating at a frequency of 45 kilohertz. And here is a power device. This is a MOSFET, just a MOSFET. So you can see on the block diagram, here is a power device. So from the power device comes a transformer. So this is my transformer. This is a ring core transformer, ferrite core transformer, high frequency transformer, because I am giving a signal of 45 kilohertz. That's why I am using this kind of transformer. And it is very compact as well. You can see this is the transformer. So from the transformer secondary, it is a center tap transformer. You can see the mains line enters here. 220 volt input, AC input enters like this on the transformer center tap, secondary center tap. You can see like this, the 220 volt AC enters here. Neutral flows all along, all along the circuit to the receiver. Neutral has no function. So the phase line comes in and joins on the center tap of the secondary. So you can see the black wires are the secondary. So it is coming out and here the mains line is joining. You can see here it is clear to be shown here. This like this I can show clearly. See on this part it is not I cannot show you very clearly. Yeah, I cannot show you very clearly already it is taped. It's a mains line. I don't want to remove the tape and show. So just follow this diagram. So mains line is going to enter at the center tap and two other wings are coming out as the power line. You can see two other wings, they are coming out, they are the power lines. I have just taped them because this is a mains line. That's why 220 volts line, this is this is a 220 volts AC line. I don't want to keep the conductors bare. That's why I just taped them, but these are the two lines that is going to take the data to other part, to the receiver part. You can see these lines are traveling like this, like this and it is traveling all the way to the 
receiver part you can see it is coming to the receiver part and neutral this is yellow wire is the neutral neutral is coming all along so neutral has no function i am not using any anything in the neutral it is just present in the circuit so now as you can see here so mains line is coming like this and mains will travel it will come like this and it will travel all along to the receiver and the high frequency signal will be modulated on the transformer transformer so the the main signal will carry this signal as well so this is a modulation so as a result both signals will travel and it will come here and here you can see we can take out mains line like this so the power line can be taken out like this and signal will come out like this so let us see the receiver so this is the receiver you can see this is the receiver this capacitor and short key diode has no function it was in the previous video i didn't remove it i just kept it there it was for the dc conversion so now it is it has no function now only transformer is playing its role so mains line is coming here approaching here and from here it is fed to the transformer and from here also as you can see you can see the primary of this transformer there is a center tap again it is mains 220 volts is coming out so it is coming out on the multimeter positive rail you can see this is the center tap it is coming here okay and the secondary of this transformer the yellow wires is the secondary and it is connected here and we can see led is glowing that means 45 kilohertz ac signal is coming here here is the here there is no mains line you can see there is a 10 kilo ohm resistance and this led here there is no mains line presence so here there is no mains line presence okay you can see only 10 kilo ohm resistor the voltage is very low here and we have a, we have an led here so now as you can see here it is a 13 volts ac now my mains line is not yet connected so i am going to connect the mains line now now i am activating the mains line so i have activated the mains line you can see here i am having 14 volts ac signal so here you can see this is my variac this is my variac so i am going to increase the voltage now on the variac you can see i am increasing the voltage on the variac i'm coming out from zero so let us see the voltage here this is the voltage at the receiver you can see how much we are receiving at the receiver so at 50 volts ac i need to make a test on this led so i will stop the oscillator and this led has to stop so here is the oscillator so if i stop this oscillator now i need to be very careful i am working on the mains ac line even though the voltage is now 50 volts you can see i have stopped the oscillator i have taken out the triple five oscillator output you can see here the led is off so if i put it on let's say i am putting it on you can see on off on off on off on off you can see 50 hertz at 50 at sorry at 50 volts of the variac you can see signal is coming so when the oscillator is present how much is the frequency coming let us see the frequency is not 50 hertz anymore here you can see here frequency is 38 kilohertz there is a modulation there is a there is a frequency mixing 50 hertz is mixed with now 45 kilohertz so we can see here the output frequency is 38 kilohertz you can see here okay so even though signal is traveling but here there is a frequency mixing so on the main side here before we are tapping out the mains frequency mains line we need to have a low pass filter then only we can get the 50 hertz signal out now here presently two signals are mixed so that's why frequency here it is showing in kilohertz now let us see the voltage value so this is the output voltage this is the output voltage now i am going to increase the variac again so i am on 88 volts 
I will go up to 110 volts. You can see here the oscillator is running and LED here is also running. You can see. So now I will switch off the oscillator from here as usual to confirm the communication. You can see. So communication is coming, communication is there. So when there is no frequency, LED is off, frequency present, LED is on. Okay. So now when there is a frequency presence, high frequency presence, you can see frequency is present. So how much is the frequency on the mains line? Because there will be a mixing, right? So the frequency is now 2.2 kilohertz. You can see because the voltage is already high, so it is resisting. So the frequency has become now 2.2 kilohertz. So now I am going to see the duty cycle. The duty cycle of the waveform is now 52%. So now that means there is a good mixing and 110 volt AC power is already there on the line. So now I am going to increase 110 volt to 220 volts AC. So let us increase. So I am increasing the variac. And now I am at 225 volts AC. You can see the LED is glowing. There is oscillation on the line. I mean the oscillator is running and I am getting the power. So, as you can see here how much is the frequency we will see. Because there will be a frequency mixing. It is a 1.5 kilohertz frequency is present. At 220 volts, 1.5 kilohertz frequency is present because signal is strong enough and it is resisting the high frequency, 45 kilohertz frequency. So whatever it is, we need to have a low pass filter to get a pure 50 hertz frequency here. Duty cycle is 51%, so waveform is strong enough. It is a good waveform, powerful waveform with 220 volts signal. So the voltage is 224 volts AC. So let us switch on and switch off the oscillator, we will see this LED is glowing on and off. So this is the oscillator. Now the mains voltage is 220 volts, I need to be very careful. So you can see, I am giving the signal on off, on off, on off, oscillator on, oscillator off, oscillator on, oscillator off. Oscillator on, oscillator off, oscillator on. Okay, so now you can see signal is traveling. So you can see now 45 kilohertz signal is traveling on this power line. It is coming here and it is power signal is getting separated and data signal is getting separated. So this is how the circuit works. So as you can see here, the same way, this is the transmitter part and this is the receiver part. So this is all for now. Now in the next video, I need to put a low pass filter here because you can see here frequency is, frequency is getting mixed. 50 Hertz is getting mixed with our 45 kilohertz oscillator. This oscillator frequency is mixing with this mains frequency. And here instead of getting 50 Hertz, we are getting some kilohertz. That is not desirable. So here in the next video, I am going to put a low pass filter and I should be getting a 50 Hertz pure frequency. So, in the next video, I am going to apply a low pass filter and we will see the output frequency. So, for now, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please watch my second video and we will be, just a minute, yeah, and we will be, see, 220 volts AC. And in, in the next video, we should be getting 50 hertz frequency here. Instead of, instead of this 1.5 1, 1 kilohertz, we should be getting 50 hertz. So, till then. Until I design the circuit, follow me, follow my channel. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please write your comments so that I can improve my channel. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.